Believe it or not, one of the most important things about being a photographer is figuring out how you're going to carry your camera. So today, we are going to talk all about straps. Before we get started, just a quick reminder to be sure and check out my podcast. It's called Photobomb. It's available anywhere that podcasts are found. I guarantee you're going to enjoy it. Also, join my group on Facebook. It's called Pro Photo Talk with Boo Ray Perry. All the links are right down there. And also, all the links to all my gear are right down there in the description as well. And if you go and you look at my gear, anything I talk about on my programs are all listed there. Uh, if you click those links, you buy with something that I use from Amazon, I get a couple of dollars and it, it helps me to keep this channel alive and I, I greatly appreciate it. Also, be sure and give me a thumbs up and a like and leave me some comments and get involved with the community here. All right, so we're gonna talk about straps today. Um, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna try and give you like a great in-depth review of each strap. And those of you who have been listening to my channel for a while, watching my shows, you know that what I really try to do is present everything from my perspective as a professional photographer and a person who's used this gear as opposed to being like, here's an unbiased review of each thing. I mean, we have a ton of great reviewers out there on YouTube that will give you a perfectly unbiased review of each thing. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> my stuff is entirely biased. So we're going to start off with the first strap that I use. Well... Second strap. The first strap I used would be the one that comes with the camera. Uh, but the first strap I used professionally uh, is the Black Rapid. Love the Black Rapid. A great product. And let me just say that too right off the bat. Uh, the three straps I'm going to talk about today, any one of these three is great. Any one of them you will be happy with. You really have to find the right one for you. So the Black Rapid is a crossbody strap. And you can see I wore this for a long time. See how faded the edges are here? Right? And look at the... Look at the paint. See the paint? <laughs> I mean, I, I use this to death. And this is the older one. Uh, and I loved it. It's a crossbody strap. Goes across your body. Hence the name crossbody. And then you have a, a little piece that you screw into the bottom of the camera. And it stays there all the time. Or you can unscrew it each time you take your camera out of the bag. And then it's got a clip that clips onto it. And so the uh, strap itself, I've got this on backwards. It's not going to slide if I got it on backwards. So the strap itself, this stays in place, but your camera slides up and down, right? So your camera is connected here, and it just slides up and down this strap. The great thing about this strap is because it's connected to the bottom, nothing's in your way up here. Nothing's bothering your hands or your fingers. Everything is cool. It's very sturdy. If you want, you can take this completely off so your camera's clean on the bottom. I never did. I always wanted to keep mine on because for me, speed is a big thing. I want to be able to just pull my camera out of my case, clip on my strap, and go. And you can do that with the Black Rapid if you have the old Black Rapid, the one that I have. See, the thing is, they changed the Black Rapid. I don't know if they had some problems or some falls or whatever, but first of all, this clip is not the clip that they use anymore. This clip... Is not the clip they use. They use one that's just a, an eye twist on clip, straight on, right? Which is okay. It looks nicer. I guess it's smaller. Okay, that's fine. But the thing they did that I didn't like is they changed this. Before, it was just a little, no problem. You could just clip it on, clip it off real quick. They changed this to a, is the word carbinger? Carabinger? 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 Is it carabinger? Is that, is it carabinger? Anyway, you got to unscrew it, you got to put it on, you got to screw it back, and there's a little thing you slide down. I mean, they really want to make sure this thing doesn't come off, and they even give you a special little tether to tether to the camera as well if you're, if you're just nervous to make sure it doesn't come off. Well, that's good, except, I mean, it's secure, right? Except now you can't take it off very quick, and I want to be able to take it off really quick because, especially now, especially now when we're using cameras that have flip-out screens, right? and we can hold them up over our head or we can hold them down at low levels next to the floor, well, the strap's not gonna reach, it's, right? So I wanna be able to just clip it off, do what I want, put it wherever I want, and then clip it back on. When I work in an event, I don't keep my strap attached to my camera that much, to be honest. I hold it most of the time. But when you wanna relax or you're walking through a crowd or whatever, and you just, bam, you wanna be able to snap your strap back on. And the rest of the time, you want your strap to be out of the way and not a burden to you. And the Black Rapid is certainly that. It'll hang right there on your shoulder and be fine all day long. So, pros and cons. Pros are all good. 
Pros are great. The only con is you can't attach and detach it really quickly if you're using the Black Rapid. There is one other con though. If you're using uh, the Black Rapid for long shoots, like really long shoots, like seven to eight hour shoots, especially if you get older, you're going to start to notice maybe some pain in here. Now, not now as much as I used to because I used to use a bigger camera. I used to use a Canon 5D Mark three and you've got a flash on it and that's more weight than you're going to get in a smaller mirrorless camera that you use today especially if you're using APS-C which is what I use I shoot with the uh, Fuji X-T4 so the weight's not as bad as it used to be but one of the reasons I switched from the black lap rapid when I stopped using it was because of the shoulder pain it was bothering me so I went down to Home Depot one day and I went to the guys and I said listen tool guys I need to figure out a way to put this on my hip, just like I would a hammer or a cordless drill. Is there a way we can put this on my hip? And they were real nice, and we looked at belts, and we looked at different ways to attach the camera, and we couldn't come up with a solution. And then about a month later, somebody sent me a link to a brand new company called Spider Holster. And the Spider Holster looked to be exactly what I wanted. And so... I signed up to buy the very first run of the Spider Holster, which is not something I normally do. Right? Normally I wait for something to come out, but I was like, this looks to be exactly what I want. And it was. This is a brand new one that I got uh, I mean, maybe last year to replace my old one, which is just looks like it's been run over by a truck. It is just <laughs> beat to death because I used it for almost 10 years. I used it on beach weddings. It just, it, in the rain, I mean, I used it to death. The, the pad here got, this got worn and ripped off. Um, and it's the one that I'm wearing in the little beginning intro thing of my, uh, of my intro video here on my channel. Did I love this? Yes. Adored it. What is, what's the pros, what's the pros, what's the cons? Well, first of all, it's on your hips. Right, so now the weight is all off your shoulder and it's on your hips. Great. Second, the camera is not attached to anything. It's either in the holster or it's in your hand. So when you've got your camera up to shoot, there's nothing in your way. You can put your camera wherever you want, do whatever you want. And then when you want to relax or you want to rest it, bam, you slot it and you're good to go. This is what makes the spider holster fantastic. What's the drawback? Well, first of all, the plate. Where's the spider holster plate? Here it is. The plate is big and it's all metal, goes on the bottom of your camera, and it's a pretty big chunk. Secondly, the belt itself. This is metal. You know, it has to be. It has to be very sturdy. The whole thing is very sturdy. Never had a problem with the spider holster. But this all contributes to a big weight factor. And I'll put some pictures up here. I actually weighed all three of these belts, and you can see that the spider holster uh, is quite a bit more weight. Uh, almost a pound, maybe? You know, look at the numbers. Uh, almost a pound more weight now that you're carrying on your hips. But here was the biggest problem for me. And let me tell you, I used to, when I, when I would speak and when I teach nationally and, and I speak at conventions, I always say to people that you can reach in my bag and you can pull out any piece of gear that I own and throw it in the garbage and I'll be okay. But don't you dare touch my spider holster. <laughs> That I lived and breathed by the spider holster, and I love it. Until <clears throat> I started to notice, or my wife started to notice, that the day after a big wedding, I would be limping. Now, this probably won't happen to you because you're probably young and virile, <laughs> and you're strong. But I've spent my entire life avoiding manual labor, and so I am not a strong and virile person. I'm in decent shape, but I'm not running track. I'm not lifting weights. On top of that, I'm pretty sure that my right leg is just a little bit shorter than my left leg. Maybe that's just from a lifetime of leaning on my right. I don't know. But there's no doubt that after a day of shooting, I would limp. All that weight of my camera hanging on my right side was affecting me. It was affecting my gait. It was affecting my structure. And as I got older, I began to notice it more and more, even from shorter shoots. So I could just go wear my camera for an hour or an hour and a half and then as I'm getting back in my truck, I can notice that, that, that that's a problem. So when I made the switch to Fuji to the X-T4, I thought, you know, I may have to stop using the Spider Holster. Because A, I want to get the weight off of me. And B, I want to stop having it affect my right side. I mean, I was going to the chiropractor to have it fixed. Uh, and C, the plate is so big, I, I, I'm trying to get things smaller. And it'd be nice if I could get this down to something smaller 
as well. So I can't say enough good things about the Spider Holster. Uh, it's fantastic, and I highly recommend that you try it uh, if, you, if you're inclined to. Uh, but at this point in my career, it may, it's, I think it's time for me to let the Spider Holster go. Which brings us to strap number three. Where are you at, strap number three? Strap number three, the Peak Design. Now, those of you who have bought Peak Design stuff, mm, you know that Peak Design makes a great quality product. They don't make a cheap product. They, uh, they absolutely don't make a cheap product. And if you don't believe me, go take a look at their tripod. <clears throat> but it's good. It's quality. It's stylish. Uh, you feel good about it. I mean, this is just a beautiful strap. Look at the buckle on that. You know, it's beautiful. I like the big red dot. Uh, it works really well. Beautiful strap. And their interlock system is really cool, the way that their straps connect to their camera. So... I got the new camera, I got the new kit, I got the Fuji X-T4, I got a smaller bag, all my gear is lighter, I'm getting rid of my, uh, my uh, thing, so I'm getting rid of my spider holster, so now, do I go back to the Black Rapid, or do I go to the Peak Design? Well, I thought, well, you know, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try the Peak Design first. So with the Peak Designs, the strap, it can go around your neck, or it can go cross body. So let's say it's going around your neck. And you just take it like this, if you can see, and you pop it in. And you pop this one into this side. And there you go. Now you got your strap. You can wear it around your neck, or you can wear it cross-body. Whatever you want to do, and here's your strap. So this is what I did, first of all. I immediately knew there was going to be a problem. Because I had come from using the Black Rapid and the spider holster. And with both of those, I didn't have anything hanging up here off my camera. I worked exactly one job, one portrait session like this before I said this is not gonna work. Because I guess over time I would get used to it, but right now I can't, this, all this stuff, right? No, no, I'm used to just having my camera in my hand. This is not gonna work. Well, that's okay, because Black Rapid has alternatives to how you strap it. One of the things that they give you is this little plate on the bottom. See that black plate? And you can put an anchor on this black plate, and then you can anchor it like this. So now, one on the side and one on the bottom. And I'm going to go ahead and stand up. And that way, when you hang it, It hangs right like this. Boom. Right? Nice. That works good. However, you still have the problem of this. And look where it is. It's right, right where my, right? This is no good. So I got to get this one off. So what did I do? I took this and I put it down here too. So both of my, strip, my anchors were on the bottom, and I would hook them both in this way. And now both my anchors are down here, and my hands are free up here. Well, this is much better. <clears throat> However, <laughs> it still put a lot of stuff right at the bottom of the camera. See all the stuff at the bottom of the camera? So that didn't quite work for me either. The other problem with that was that if I wanted to take my camera off, I had to unhook both of these right to do it so i hook both of these now my camera's off but guess what now my strap is loose so if i unhook my camera from both of from both of those and start using it my strap is loose slides off into the sand falls off into the pond whatever my strap is loose i need my strap to be self-contained and that was when i had the epiphany i'm not the first person to think of this I'm sure if I had Googled it, I would have found a million photographers who figured this out on their own. But on the day that I thought of this, I thought of this on my own. And I was so happy and excited when I did. Because I thought to myself, what I need is a strap like my Black Rapid. I need this strap to be locked onto my body in a continuous loop. So that when I unhook the camera from it, the strap doesn't fall off. That's what I need. How can I make that happen? And if you're wondering, by the way, why I didn't go back to the Black Rapid and why I didn't stay with this, why I stayed with this and didn't go back to the Black Rapid, I thought about going back, believe me. I absolutely was like, you know what, my next event, I'm just going to have to go back to using my Black Rapid. My old Black Rapid, because I still have the old hardware. 
because I didn't want the new Black Rabbits with the new hardware. I was going to wear the old Black Rabbit. And then I came up with this solution. Again, I didn't invent this. It's been invented way before I invented it. But I was so happy that I did. And what I did was, I've got this on backwards. What I did was, eh, I took one of my anchors and I put it on my strap. So now, instead of taking this side and strapping it to my camera, I just strap it to the strap. So now, this strap hangs on my body and never comes off. There it is. Now, let me be clear. Nowhere on Black Rab on uh, on uh, Peak Design's website or in their materials does it tell you that you should be connecting your camera to their strap with just one anchor. <laughs> this is entirely my idea. I will not absolutely tell you right now that you should not do this. Look at me. You should not be doing this because if you do it and you drop your camera, you're going to try and sue me. No, that's why I'm telling you. You should not do this. This is what I do, and I am willing to take this risk with my camera. If you decide to do this, you're taking that risk with your camera. Don't come looking at me if it faults, if it's a problem. Because I'm, not, I'm just telling you this is what I do. However, they do say their anchors are rated at 200 pounds. So if this, if this is rated at 200 pounds, why do I need two of them? I don't need 400 pounds of anchor. 200 pounds is plenty. My camera is never going to exceed 200 pounds. And here's the other thing. If you put both of them on right? You, know, you put one on one side and you put the other one on the other side. You think this is much more secure. If one side breaks, the camera is going down. <laughs> it's not going to be held up by the other side, right? It, the camera is going down and the strap's going to whip right off your shoulder and it's going to go because it's not a closed system. So you're, you're screwed anyway. So if one of your anchors breaks, you're going down, well then I'm just going to go ahead and make it to where it's the most convenient for me. I'm going to hook it here. It's hard to do this backwards like I'm doing it. Come here, you. There you go. I'm going to hook that there. Ah. Let's try doing it with two hands. There we go. I'm just going to hook this here. And then hook this here, and that's it. And now this this buckle being down here keeps it more out of my way. So if I'm shooting with the strap, this this is a, this is I still got some stuff up here, but I don't have two. I don't have both buckles up here. It's absolutely much more manageable for me. And I just love that I can pop it off and do whatever I want to do, and then quickly pop it back on. So this is my solution now. That's what I'm using at the moment. I like it so much <laughs> that I've decided to change the strap that I use on my travel kit, which is my uh, Fuji X100V. Which, do I have that with me? I do. So here's my travel kit, right? And here's my Fuji X100V, and I have this great little strap on it. I love this strap. But now, using the Black Rapid, I'm sorry, using the Peak Design, I really like being able to unconnect the camera, connect the camera. I really like that. I like that the strap is wider. It's easier on my shoulders. So I thought, well, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get me another Black Rapid. I'm going to get me another Peak Design. <laughs> I keep saying Black Rapid. I used it for so many years. I'm going to get me another Peak Design, and I'm going to make it my strap for this. But then I thought, wow, th but the strap is so big, right? I mean... Let me get one over here. The strap's pretty big, right? I, I thought it's a pretty big strap for this little camera. But I hooked it on and I put the camera and boy, it was comfortable. It, you know, it's just really comfortable. 
And I thought I can do the same thing. You know, I'll just I'll hook it to the bottom. I'll just put a little plate on the bottom. I'll hook it to the bottom, and that'll be great. So, okay, yeah, you know what? I'm going to do that. That's going to be good. However, <laughs> this is very, very small and doesn't take up any room. This camera, the camera goes into my bag. This goes in the same spot with the camera. It goes right into the same part of my bag, right? That strap, that's not gonna, that strap takes up too much room. It can't go into the same slot to the camera. It's gonna have to go into its own slot. And now I'm taking up a slot in my camera bag. And I've only got three slots in my camera bag and they're already full. So that's a big problem with the strap. And then it dawned on me, this camera bag comes with a strap, right? It has a big strap to carry the camera bag. Well, if I'm carrying the camera bag and the camera's inside, I don't need a strap on the camera because the bag is my strap. So I ordered, and it should be arriving any day now, a new Peak Design strap. And when it gets here, I am going to put an anchor on the bottom of this camera and I'm going to put an anchor on each side of my travel bag. And when I'm traveling, I will take that strap and strap it to this bag, and it will be my bag strap with my camera inside. And if I, you know, I'm on a cruise or whatever, and I want to go ashore, but I'm not going to carry this bag, I'll just snap off the strap, snap the strap onto the camera, throw the camera around my neck, and head out the door. If you know me, you know that efficiency is a really big thing with me. I just love to try and figure out the most efficient way to do this. So I'm giddy over the idea that I just figured out how to make one strap serve two purposes for me. I just <laughs> I love this idea. And that strap should be arriving uh, any day now. And I'm going to make a new video about my travel kit. So there you go. There's all my strap stuff. And this is kind of a all over the place video. Uh, I know it is. But what I really wanted to do was just talk about my personal work with each one of these straps, what I liked and what I didn't like, and hope that it can help you uh, influence what decision and what strap you would like to buy. And Peak Design also makes straps that are smaller than this one. They make one that's about half this size as well. But I like the big wide one uh, because it's just, it's easier on, on your shoulders, you know, and you know it can carry whatever you need to carry, including your big bag. All right, that's it. Leave me some comments. Tell me about your straps. Tell me about your experiences with the straps. Uh, tell me where I, what I said that was wrong, which is almost always a lot. And uh, be sure and give me a subscription and give me a like, and I'll see you back here next time.